Hi, today I want to try to make the proper fully composite panel. First thing first, we got our surface. I'm using like a top of the cabinet. It doesn't matter what it is, it's a piece of metal. So I'm doing entire process first time. So sweet. So brand new honey wax. Ooh, smells good. So it comes with a, with a little sponge. And what I saw on YouTube, you basically like a rubbing in. Honestly, it feels like nothing and I'm afraid that my panel will stick. Uh, but I mean, finger crossed, so like, uh, so the second step in my process is to remove this like a green painter's tape and put the yellow sticky tape. Degrees or I brought a uh, gel coat, the hardener, uh, the brush that I'm going to use to apply it. Um, got a drill to mix everything. So. All this stuff is like a pretty toxic for your body. So, so just always use the personal protective equipment. Oh no, it's a white gel coat. Pretty cool. I get back to the warehouse uh, to continue my process of making proper composite panel. And before I will proceed, um, I just want to make sure that I'll be able to pull entire panel from my mold. I wouldn't say it's coming out so easy. I mean, ideally, I should be able just to pull the entire piece, but for some reason it doesn't work like this. Looks like this attempt is failed. After my last time failure with making a panel, I decided to take it a little bit more seriously and I created the specific panel making bench top. So it's a pretty standard like a work bench. And I put as a tabletop like a four by eight piece of melanin. So yesterday what I did, I didn't film it, uh, but I created this little area and I put the gel coat the size of my panel that I needed. And today I'm going to uh, create an actual panel. All right, bag is in the place. Um, now let's grab some uh, fiber cloth and put it down. I'm going to use uh, three layers of cloth. Yeah, the gel coat, it's a little tacky that helps us to put the first layer super nice, because it's kind of like a sticks to it. All right, we did our uh, mixture. Now let's close our bag. Okay, um, I covered the, my panel with a bag and I made it as tight as possible. Right now, I definitely will have some leaks. I would need to like press it. Right now is the time to turn on the pump and suck all air and look for the leaks. Yeah, as you can see, the epoxy started going towards the, towards the pump. Uh, 
this is not what we want because uh, uh, we want to stay on a panel, but this is uh, like a side effect of vacuum bagging. The sum of the epoxy will try to travel from the panel to the pump, but for now everything looks good. We got a negative pressure. Let's turn off the pump. I mean, yeah, it's still... I mean, you kind of spread it with your hand. Because my pump is uh, does not designed to do like a vacuum infusion and stuff like that. It's just like a regular uh, vacuum pump from Amazon. But I mean, it does a job. Kind of don't have any leaks that I can hear it. So yeah, let's let it sit and Tomorrow, hopefully, finger crossed, we'll be able to lift this panel from my melanin table. Uh, finger crossed. Okay, it's a new day. Um, it looks like everything said. Obviously, I lost the vacuum because uh, I was using uh, not correct uh, film bag, plastic bag. But let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's remove the vacuum line. So it's going to be out of the way. Put it down here and the drum roll. Okay. Bag came out perfectly. So because we lost the vacuum, we have all these little waves on the back side, but I don't really care about the back side because it's the back side. Uh, right now, question is, will I be able to lift the entire panel from the melanin shed? Um, let me grab something that I can wedge. In my case, I'll go small. No way! Check it out! This is crazy! This is so nice and flat. Wow! So cool, so neat. Oh wow! I'm amazed. Fiberglass, everybody! Yeah, I probably next time need to do like two layers of gel coat because, um, somewhere I'm not sure if you can see on the camera but you can see the fiber a second fiber fiber cloth but but it's flat it's cool wow that's awesome fiberglass